Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and we are now in the liquid water stage. And moving right along, I've even seen a couple of uh, puddles of water while I was out and about. And yeah, so we got lots of fun stuff planned for today. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves the Tier 2 flashlight. Um, so we need sulfur, aluminum, and magnesium. I have filled up all of my bins here with ore. Um, and uh, let's see. So yeah, we got aluminum, iridium, uranium. Well, these are these ones. That one is, but this one's not completely filled up yet. And then let's see. These are all overflow bins with extra ore inside of them. This is a bin with water in it. This is a miscellaneous bin for now. And I have also. I must have just harvested that water before I logged off last night. Um, I've also done some stuff here in the biodome. Uh, so we have uh, four uh, food growers set up there. Uh, I currently have the T2 veggie tubes in here, but those were gonna those are gonna go probably fairly soon. I have one chest for food and another chest for flower seeds, and that uh, pretty much gets you caught up on where we are at the moment. Uh, what's this? Oh, yeah. I went out and got a bunch of super alloy, too, and I, I think I showed you that in the montage there. Uh, so, right. We are going to make the uh, Tier 2 flashlight. So we need an aluminum, a mag, and a sulfur. I went and stuck my head in uh, the cave that's uh, just right over that way because uh, the ice had started to melt, and I grabbed three osmiums and a couple of sulfurs. The sulfur is what I wanted mostly just because of the flashlight and aluminum and a mag. Let's see if we have any of that in our overflow. Yeah, we got an aluminum there and a mag there. Whoa, I did it again. Yay us. <laughs> That's kind of a weird spot for those emotes to be, but you know, whatever, it works. Okay, let's make the tier two torch. And now we have a much better light. It's kind of hard to tell right now, but before it was like a really small spotlight this is more like a larger floodlight so it's definitely going to help us see better and by the way too um today is in fact well the the when i'm recording this april the 10th and they when they came out with the actual full release uh, they had some more patch notes and things um and uh, so now we get a tier three flashlight we also get a tier four jet pack i think they said and a bigger backpack too maybe or something like that i don't know some really cool stuff so um, the first, this is episode six, right? Yeah. So the first five episodes I actually recorded on the developer branch, but I didn't release them until, you know, one came out because they, they basically said, you know, not to do that, which, and so I honored that of course. Um, but this is actually, this is actually my very first time on the bona fide one release, uh, cause you know, we just switched over from the developer branch, which was, um, a candidate release anyways. Uh, all right, cool. So we got that done. Let's see. I, there's there's so many things I want to do. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> um, let's look in. Our, oh, right. We we're going to finish setting up our, our office over here. Let's do that next. So we need to grab some iron 
um, cause we're going to make a desk. Actually, we're going to put in a couple of desks here. So I'm going to set this up very similar to what we did in uh, season one. And so let's put this desk here. We want it right about in the center, push it back to about there. Uh, yeah, you know what? That's probably okay. Yeah, they're, they're not butted up against each other, but they're pretty evenly spaced, I think. And then we'll put our small monitors on top of there. So we're going to need silicon and magnesium. And the mapping screen isn't going to do us any good until we launch some satellites. Uh, and by the way, we're going to set up the rocket launcher in this episode too. Uh, all right, so let's just go grab a little bit more of this. We're going to need some magnesium and some silicon. That should be enough to set up the first three screens. So over here, we'll put the blueprint screen and maybe we'll, here, let's turn this off. Maybe what we'll do is we'll, eh, no, I'm not going to angle them. We hold them to the front. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. They, they do kind of block the screens behind a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal. We'll put the power screen here. And we'll put the um, message or transmission screen, which we need another silicon for. And we, you know, we haven't really done a whole lot with the stories and all that yet, story stuff. But we'll see what kind of messages we have so far. Oh, you know what else we need to do is we need to put up the communications uh, dish. This guy. Let's do that next. Silicon, titanium, aluminum. <coughs> Silicon, aluminum, titanium. All right, so that, I kind of like to put this on the roof because I think it looks cool on the roof, but we, this, we're going to have to do something different with this, I think, because I do want to put the biolab up here when we get it. And yeah, it's definitely hanging over too far for that so yeah we'll have to figure that out when the time comes how about if we put the communications array right about here oh and that oh you know what actually that's the next thing we're gonna do anyways is we're gonna make ourselves some tier one nuclear reactors perfect timing so um you know what though hold on a sec Let's just pick this back up for the moment. So, so we're not completely dead in the water because I want to give this a little bit of thought in terms of where we're going to put these things and how much we're going to, how many we're going to do and all that sort of thing. Um, so we have, we have four uranium rods. So I think we're going to set up four generators and then that will hold this over for quite some time. That means we're going to need 12 supers. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, that was one too many, wasn't it? Because yeah, okay. So that gives us twelve of those, and then uh, we're gonna need a bunch of water. We have water in here. Let's put all of you guys back in here. So we need eight water in total. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, there, that's eight. That's actually nine, but we want to keep one water on our person, of course. Okay, so we have everything, right? Yeah. All right, we need to decide where we're going to put these. Um, I've got my, my tier three veggie tubes down here. Uh, we could build some more of those, but the thing is, is we're pro we're not too far away from flower spreaders, and flower spreaders are just so much better than those things. Um, maybe we should actually look at that. Okay, so if we get, 
Yeah, I'm going to put a whole bunch of, of pressure drills down. And the next thing up is is ore extractor, which is amazing. Hmm. We still got it. we we'll still we have to get the tier two nuclear before we. I guess the flower spreaders are a little further out than I was thinking. Um. So maybe we better build some more T3 veggie tubes until that time comes. Uh, just because we've got. Let's take a look here. We have. Yeah, we've got four more golden flowers that we could be, uh, you know, putting in tier three veggie tubes. Uh, plus, we have some tuscas, which are pretty good too. Not as good as the golden. So, yeah, we we, we should work, we should look at that. We'll optimize our oxygen a little bit better than what it currently is. Anyway, all right. So this, all of this area out here, from way over there to way over here, is uh, where I'm going to put our machines. For the power, maybe we could line those up just along here. You can't put them, it won't let you put them up on the rock, so it has to be down on the ground here. And I think we'll just kind of follow the contour of the edge of the rock here. And start just putting, well, four at this point of these down. And then that's going to give us a lot of power for a long time. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad. They're in an angle, but <clears throat> it works because it's, again, it's kind of following the contour of the land there. So it doesn't look like they're just completely haphazardly placed. All right, now we can put our dish back up. And uh, what did we need for that? Silicon, titanium, iron, aluminum. Silicon, titanium, iron, and aluminum. So yeah, we're, we're mostly going to do just a whole bunch of base improvements and upgrades, at least for the first part of this episode, and then we'll see how our time goes. All right, we'll put this back here, and... Oh, you know what? Let's actually, just for now put that there but we will move it later and the reason being is because i i'm gonna need to actually remove this temporarily yeah okay incidentally how much power do we have now yeah 328 kilowatts that's huge that's gonna last us for a bit but we are gonna be putting a bunch of stuff down though a bunch of drills and and tier uh, three heaters um and why don't we actually um, yeah, let's work on, on those next. We'll do the heaters. So we're going to need silicon, titanium, aluminum, and iridium rods. We currently have three iridium rods. Why don't... I already have two tier three heaters set up in the shack. Why don't we go for four more? So that means we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those to make another rod and we might might be worth our while oh we need nine sorry uh might be worth our while to go to the crater it's a little ways away but we got a jetpack and stuff now and just farm some of the rods off of the iridium meteorite in the, that's in the big crater uh, we don't have to do that immediately but the longer we wait that you know meteorite eventually disappears so we don't want to wait too long Okay, so that gives us four rods. Now we just need four silicon. One, two, three, four. We need four titanium. One, two, three, four. And we need four aluminum. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. All right, let's take a drink. Uh, we're good on food until we get back. I did switch the hut around uh, the original base. Uh, modified it, and it is now going to be our heater shack. Until we get to tier four heaters. When those become available, then we can put them, and we'll want to put them outside because they're pretty big. 
for now, this is our heater hut. We'll also leave all the solar panel stuff up too, because there's no, there's no harm in leaving that stuff up. Okay, so let's put this one here. And this one can go here. Hold this one back to that corner. Okay, so that adds four more uh, tier four heaters, and we still have room for a total of nine more. We could put four in here. Wait, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, uh, or even ten if we actually wanted to remove that, which we could do. But I think that's pretty good boost in heat for now. Yeah, see, look at that. We got water. Isn't that awesome? Neat. We can't drink water directly yet. We'll be able to do that later once we get the water filter, but that's a long ways off. So we still have to have <coughs> bottled water for now. Next, we're gonna put some more tier three drills down. Um, you know what, we should make the pin recipe. Uh, where's that at? Okay, so we need two cobalts, aluminum, Oz, super, and a mag. Okay, aluminum, osmium, a super, and two cob and a mag and two cobalts. Uh, there we go. Okay, that should be enough to make it. We'll put that in our tech slot, and now we can pin a recipe, uh, which we're gonna do right now with this. See, pins a recipe up there. Isn't it a beautiful thing? All right, so two iron, two titanium to aluminum. So how many of these do we want to do? We got one. Let's do... Let's do five more. Um, so we have a total of six. Okay, so that means we need one, two, three, four, five, six... Uh, six aluminum. Three, four, five, six. Oh, I guess I have aluminum in there already. Okay, let's get two more aluminum. Two more iron. And two more titanium. That should allow us to put four up. And then we'll have to come back for the other the other one okay once again I think we're just gonna kind of follow the terrain here with these to come out just a little bit hold down control so we can just set multiple down Okay, so that gives us five, and we wanted to do what wanted 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 to do one more. Work mouth. Now with the heaters, now oh, we got a sign. With the heaters, the veggie tubes, the uh, pressure drills, all that stuff. When we move to the new tier, we we will recycle the previous tier and use their materials to help make the new one because it's more efficient to do it that way. I've been told that the only the only item that that isn't really necessary i mean you still can do it is power but with everything else it's worth doing i've not really looked at the map myself but it makes sense to me so that's the way we'll do it okay uh so let's see we wanted to make one more pressure drill so we need one of those we need or two of those rather, and two of these, and two of these. I'm uh, I'm particularly excited to get our first ore extractor going because then that means I don't have to like go all over Kingdom Come to 
uh, you know, to find ore and stuff. It's going to be really nice. There we go. Okay, so we got six of those suckers going. It's a beautiful thing. I think they're badass looking too. I love the pressure drills. Uh, of all of the machines, you know, that we'll create, uh, I think the drills are the coolest looking, especially the tier five drill. The tier five drill is just badass looking and it's enormous too. <laughs> it's really cool. So looking forward to that. All right, we got that done. <clears throat> Let's take a look at our power. Yeah, we still have 193 uh, kilowatts. That's really good. So this it oh, this is going to pop really fast, like probably in the next two minutes, two, three, four minutes. Uh, nice. Okay. Um, now let's, uh, let's spend a little bit of time, uh, reading some messages cause we haven't really done that yet. So, um, these two messages here are from Sentinel Corp. Um, and they're basically the, I, I guess the universe or the galaxy is run by corporations, I guess. I don't know. Um, but they sent us here. Well, let's just read the message. This is an automated message to convict to GP 8971 L. You have chosen to have your sentence commuted to an extradition. To get all the charges against you dropped, you must fully terraform this planet. Our sensors will periodically scan your progress and send you the required blueprints. Do not try to contact Sentinel Corp. If our sensors do not detect any advancement in the terraformation process, you will be considered missing and the charges will not be dropped and the Covenant will come and glass the planet. Um, did I say that? You cannot claim ownership or value over anything on the planet. You are only allowed to use the resources found on the planet to increase the terraformation index. You are not allowed to leave the planet until the terraformation is complete. So the whole premise of this story is that we're a convict. We don't know what we did wrong. We did something wrong. And uh, we're trying to redeem ourselves by terraforming this planet for Sentinel Corp. Okay. Um, this message is just very basic information about our planet. We don't know what it's called. We don't know who owns it. Apparently, Sentinel Corp thinks they own it, I guess. Habitability level is null. It's in the sector Azishal Prime. We don't know anything about the history. Planet Unnamed is located in Azishal Prime sector, a pre-civilization sector crossed mostly by trade ships traveling between big space ports. The sector has 842 planets, 13,511 stars, and is 7,000 parsecs wide. This planet has been identified as a possible candidate for future colonization. Okay, so those are those messages. And then um, if we go here, these are the ones that come, you know, to us uh, via satellite. These are the ones we find on the planet. So every message that we come across, well, no, that's, I guess that not, not, but that's not necessarily true. Or maybe it is true. I don't know. Anyway, um, whenever we find a message out in the wild, it'll be recorded here so we can come back and read it later. Uh, and this is where I found that secret area that we went into and we found the dead guy and read his, his iPad. And, uh, so we've already actually read this and then this is a different message. Uh, oh no, we've read this one too. Yeah. We read this when we went into the wrecked ship that was kind of up on the hill. Um, I think it was the second ship maybe that we looted. All right. So that's it for messages so far, but more of them will pop in as time goes on. And uh, yeah, they said they added more to the lore and to the story. So I'm, I'm very um, excited to, to Oh, there we go. Excited to see how that's going to roll. All right. This guy is. We just so happen to have two Osmium. Look at that. Let's make this next. Um, we're going to need to make another Iridium rod. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh. Let's take a drink. In fact, let's pull all of that out of there and keep stockpiling it. We'll make the rod. Um. Okay, what else? We need a super, an aluminum, and a titanium. Is that everything? Yes, it is. Okay, so here's the thing. It would be really useful if we plopped this down where we could also get aluminum. But the thing about that is that the aluminum biome is quite a ways away. Now, aluminum did spawn over there. But I 
kind of don't think the drill's gonna pick it up. Let's just run over there. No, let's actually fly over there. Because jetpack, yo. And we'll just set it down over here and see if it actually can pick up aluminum. I'm not counting on that, but we'll try it. And that way, at least we can say we tried, right? Um, another possibility is to go throw it in that cave if, if it actually would fit in there. Alright, let's just see what it does if we set it down here. Oh, shoot. It's not going to let me do it. Because it needs... It's, this is like an iceberg. Alright, what happens if we... Set it there. Yeah, it's just going to get basic ore there. Okay. I mean, if, all, if that's all it's going to do, we might as well keep it ne near the base. And I will eventually have one for near the base anyway. Let's just go see if we can plop it down in this cave over here where the aluminum was. And if that doesn't work... Then we'll probably put this one by the base, and, and we might actually make a second one. Well, we don't have any osmium. we we'll are have to go get some more osmium. osmium. And we will... Oh, we're going to actually put multiples of these up in the aluminum biome. Uh, because what that's going to do for us is get aluminum, of course, but it also will get all the other ores, too, and we can just have a massive supply of all the basic ores plus aluminum, which we will use later on when we start setting up our supply chains. All right, is it possible? I don't think this is gonna work. Hmm, and what about down here? Yeah, I don't think this is gonna fly. It doesn't like any of these locations down here. That's a bummer. Yeah, it likes to be on normal dirt. It's just not going to behave on any of this stuff. We can put it down there. Um, what does it do if we put it there? Yeah, just iron. Okay. All right, well, doesn't look like we're going to be able to use this for aluminum near our base. But that's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, be, we'll, you know, we'll be able to use it for everything else. And um, as soon as we can come across some more osmium, we will make another one uh, to put in the aluminum biome. And we might, we'll probably make a third one. Uh, we definitely will eventually, but maybe sooner rather than later. We'll make a third one to go put in the Iridium Cave, which is right straight way over there. So we'll put this one close to the base. That way we just have a, a ready supply of ore. We could go back down to that Osmium Cave and see if we can get th through since the last time I tried that. All right, where do I actually want to put this thing? I'm going to save that little spot because we're going to make some more of those veggie tubes here soon. This is our, our power area. All right, why don't we just set it? I do want it close to the base. So you know what? We're just going to set it right here. We can always move it later. It's not like we're stuck forever with where we, we put it. Maybe we'll put it right here. Okay. And let it start to automatically extract the ore for us. It's a beautiful thing. It is indeed. You know what? Actually, here. Let's get it even closer. Look at that. All right. We can just kind of pop right out the front door and grab some more. It's a beautiful thing. I have to jump over the rail, but that's that's okay. We can live with a little jank. 
All right, let's go get some chow. We, we'll put some more food growers up too, but we don't need to do that right at the moment. Let's take a look at our progress here. And how's our power? 152. Yeah, we're good on power. Okay, so this will unlock at 1.5 million parts per A, whatever the hell A is. Atmosphere, maybe? I don't know. So that's not... Yeah, that's a ways off, actually. Yeah, that's a little ways off, but it's moving quick. And so look at the heat. The heat's really cranking up. Oxygen we need to work on next. Um... And that'll actually get us eventually to our tier four heater. So, oh, look at that. The tier five backpack is not too far off, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be a beautiful thing. Absolutely. Um. All right. So, yeah, let's get going on. Yeah, you know what? Hold on. I want to check our biomass screen. 800. Oh, we haven't even started biomass. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we need to do that. Um. What are flower spreaders? What do they take to make? Do we... Oh, can we even do flower spreaders? I thought we could. Yeah, right here. Yeah, we should throw a couple of these down just so we can get started on biomass. So let's pin that recipe. We'll grab... Um, we're going to need two waters per. Okay, that would be two. That would be three. That would be four. We'll make four of these. We need four magnesium. One, two, three, four. We need four aluminum. One, two, three, four. And four lerma seed. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yep, we'll get going on some biomass. Let's put the first one right here. We'll put the second one right here. And we'll just kind of make ourselves like a little front lawn here. There we go. Uh, these do also generate oxygen too. 86.4 parts per quadrillion. Which is actually more than... Really? Hold on. 86.4 PPQ. 62.4... Oh, wow. These actually generate more oxygen than these do. Really? I didn't think they would. Especially with golden flowers in there. But I guess these are kind of the next tier up after these. Dang. Okay. Plus, you know, plus we're getting... Um, you know, plants, you know, we're starting to apply some things towards plants. All right. Um, what's it take to make these? Silicon. I mean. Hmm. I'm almost tempted to forego these all together and instead use those resources to make more of these. At least with as many Lerma seeds as we have left. We're going to find more of those. You, you typically have a bunch of those before it's all said and done and, and you can even eventually manufacture them. So we could do three more. And maybe what we'll do is we'll just leave the golden flowers in the T2 and T3 veggie tubes until we get the actual flower spreader, and then we'll move them over at that point. Yeah, I, I guess I just didn't realize that these generated more O2 just as they are compared to these with golden flowers, but they apparently do. I don't think I'm looking at that wrong. Okay, so let's make three more of these guys. All right, one, two, three. That's going to use up all of our water, but that's okay because it will replenish very quickly. 
Um, so we're going to need three more magnesium and three more aluminum. The other reason why this is a better idea than the tier three veggie tubes is because, again, this is starting to apply towards biomass now. Whereas the veggie tubes do not do that, even though they're called veggie tubes. I don't know. Don't ask me. I didn't make the game. Um, let's throw this one back here. And let's put this one maybe right there. And this one can go right there. Okay, that should have give us, uh, given us a substantial boost in oxygen. And a lawn to boot. How about that? We got grass, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're working on it. Okay, do we have a new water here? Yes, we do. Let's drink that right now. Okay, so we have boosted our heat pressure and oxygen and started get start and whoop, got started on biomass, which is great. Look at the heat and the pressure moving quickly. The O2 is already at parts per billion, so it's it appears to be moving slower, but it actually isn't. It's moving along pretty quickly, too. Uh, it's just at the next increment. Super good progress. All right, now, um, what's next? We wanted to do the rocket thing. Do I have three more supers? I do. Let's get our rocket launcher set up next. Um, three iron, three titanium. All right, will that let us set it over here? Can I? I can only turn that on the cardinal directions. Oh, man, that would have been a cool place to put it. Why game, why? Whew, all right. Well, damn it, Jim. Hey, wait a minute. Why isn't it letting us set it down over here? Is it because it needs a, a flatter part of the ground? Wait a minute. What the hell? Let's try that again. I'm corn fused. I don't know why this isn't working. Oh. What? 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 What's going on? What's going on here? Oh, you got. Oh, you got to bury it down further. Oh, maybe it will work over here then. Guess I was holding it up too high. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess the stairs are kind of like that. Um, oh, it still doesn't like the... Oh, shoot. It doesn't like the stone, though. All right. So... Let's go replenish our oxygen. Well, that sucks, because that's kind of where I had planned on putting it. But... Will it let me attach it to these foundations? Let's try that. Okay, turn it this way. Hmm. That's a rather disappointing, man. Okay, I have another idea, actually. I have another idea. Which was the next thing we were going to work on anyway. Let's put all of this stuff in the water bin for the moment. So I don't accidentally use it on something else let's grab a water and I want to I need to grab stuff for a door that can go over here need an iron and a silicon and then I'll need a bunch more iron let's take that much all right, here's what we're going to do.
we're going to remove this compartment temporarily. Uh, okay, hold on a sec. I gotta look at something. You know what? I might be able to do this without removing that compartment. Let's grab one of these. Yes. Okay. We're going to build a bridge across to that plateau there. Got another message. Uh, can't quite get that one to go. Okay. Oh, I know what we can do. Now, we do the bridge. There's no SI in this game, by the way, in case you haven't already figured that out. <laughs> it's a little further away than it first appeared, isn't it? All right. Now, ah, shit. That doesn't quite line up, but I can't do anything about it. It's just the way the game is, so there's no point in pissing and moaning about it. Um. All right. We're going to need... Some quite a bit more iron actually and some titanium. Whoops, where am I going? You know, we don't really need those stairs there, because now that we have the jetpack, we can just scooch up. So let's take this down. That'll give us one piece of iron. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I need the titanium for? I don't remember. I know we needed it. Let's just grab all this iron. In fact, let's also... Well, no, let's not do that yet. Alright. Now, we're gonna take you back down and you back down and you back down. Later on, we'll we'll unlock rails that we can put along here. Oh, look at that. Okay, we'll do that next. Okay. Now, let's keep building the bridge out. I remember one time in Satisfactory, I was building a bridge way out over an open expanse, like 300 feet up or something. And I misclicked and stepped over the edge and, and fell to my death. <laughs> yeah, it was a, kind of embarrassing. Okay. Did that get us? Yeah, we don't need, actually even need this last one and don't even really need that one either. Okay. Now, what we'll do is we'll put a stair here. Flip that around the other way. All right. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where we're going to put our rocket launching platform on top of this plateau. How about that, man. There's lots of room up here, too. In fact, we could use this also to put some machines later on if we wanted to. Is there any way I could put a foundation under there just so it's not... We might be able to pull that off if we put... Remove that. No. Nope. It's not going to let me do it. Okay. Fair enough. We might be able to... No, it's just not going to let us sink that, that far down. All right, well, we'll just have to hippity-hop up over that. 
This is quite the distance, isn't it? <laughs> it doesn't seem like it at first, but if we would have set up more over there, it would have been closer, but it's okay. Alright, let's let's run in here and let's turn this off. Eat a food. We want to grab all of you. Actually, before we do that, let's go get a load from our extractor. It's not quite full, but that's so nice, man. Now I don't have to go out and pick up ore manually anymore. Iron, titanium, silicon, mag, and cobalt. With an one to spare. Now let's grab all of this and um, grab these waters out of here and put them in here, except for one in our inventory. And we'll go set up our rocket. Having fun so far, man. This is really enjoyable. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far as well. Okay. Let's grab you and we'll keep you to this end. Guess how far to that way will you let us go? Quite a ways, actually. Still don't understand why they won't let us put it on the stone. I don't want to actually cover that pool up because later on it's going to do stuff. So I guess... Oh, all right. That finally tanked our power. How about that? All right, let's go deal with that. Um, Actually, do I have enough uranium to make a rod? There's our biolab. Awesome. Yes, we do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we need, ooh, do we have three supers left? Yes, we do, okay. Three supers and we just need another water. There we go. How much power does that give us? 57 kilowatts. How much power does this guy take? 48. But we need Oz. Okay. Um, can we make a rocket? Yeah, we could we could do okay, so we could do a uranium rocket, which will also build up heat, I think it is, which will send us a uranium storm. And then we can pick up the uranium to make more rods to make more power. And to give ourselves a thousand percent boost or a ten times boost to heat production. We have uh we have Oh, okay. We could we could also do the pressure one as well. Um, the thing is, though, is I don't remember exactly what the recipe was. And you have to run all the way out to the launch platform to look at that. Which kind of sucks. Not the end of the world, but it does kind of suck. Ooh. Okay. All right. So for um, that's an iridium. This is the one we want. So let's pin it. This is where pinning really comes in handy because, you know, you can pin the rocket recipe and then go back to the base to get all the stuff for it. So we need two supers and three cobalt. Getting really slow, uh, slow, uh, low. Man, you'd think I was drunk. I promise I'm not, but geez. 
Okay. Now we're getting low on supers, is what I was trying to say. Now, hmm. Once we launch this thing, it's probably going to send a bunch of meteorites down into the canyon. Well, that's not that big of a deal, especially with our jetpack. We can go down there and get it if we need to. Or we could make a beeline back towards the base and try and draw the meat, you know, most of them that way. I think we'll do that. Okay, here we go. Our first rocket launch. Okay, let's go. There it goes, by the way. I just It just occurred to me that some of you have perhaps never seen that happen, so it's very cool. We're going to be doing a lot more times, though. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to bring my body back over here because the meteorites tend to go where the player is. And I'd rather have them land out here in this open area because it'll just be easier to retrieve the uranium. Okay, cool. Kablooey. Looks like that one may have gone down into the canyon. Oh shit, that one went way the hell up there. Oh well. We'll get it. Oh, that's going to be fun getting to that one. <laughs> Shit. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah, so again, for those of you who are new to the game, when you launch a rocket, or at least that particular rocket, it gives you a 1,000% boost to, in that case, heat production. There's also one for pressure. There's one for oxygen. There's one for uh, biomass. There's one for insects. I believe there's going to be one for mammals, and I'm not even sure, <laughs> not even sure how that's going to work when the time comes. Uh, and every time you do it, it gives you another thousand percent. But there is, uh, there are diminishing returns on it too. So, um, but yeah, let's drink that right now. But yeah, it's definitely definitely worth doing uh, for both of those reasons. Now I'm going to wait for a bit. For the debris to clear, so you can already see a uranium over there, to clear because um, it's, otherwise it's kind of a, a pain to pick the uranium out of the debris. But it'll it'll dissolve eventually, and then I I can just get to the ore. All right, we're gonna do one more thing before we wrap up this episode. We're gonna see if we can go nab a little bit more uranium, or not, I'm sorry, not uranium, um, osmium. Uh, and I think the way we're going to do that is we're going to jump off the cliff here. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, see, this cave's open. Well, I don't know if it's completely open. Whilst we're down here, though, looks like we had a meteorite land over there. I've got at least one water and 102, right? Okay. Um, that's just the normal thingy. Is What's that? No, this is a meteorite. Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna fight it. It's it's too damn hard to get at the ore with the debris in the way. Why don't we just nab this while we're down here too? Well, we got another iridium rod and a super and a Pistara plant. That's good. Is that a thing? Weird. Okay, so we can get at least part way down into this osmium cave. And maybe even all the way through. This will eventually flood with water, too. Oh, this is great. And we have a chest down here as well. Um, should, Let's leave that. Because even when it does flood with water, we can still come in here. I mean, we're in a spacesuit, so we can breathe underwater, of course. All right, so we came, look at our bridge up there. That's cool. 
came through here. So we're going to pick up all the osmium that we can and all the sulfur because we're going to need sulfur here real quick for making stuff like uh, explosive powder and fertilizer and that kind of thing. So sulfur is a very widely used resource in this game. And osmium is too, for that matter. Looks like there's still a little bit more that way. Oh, actually, you know what? That's right. This is a dead end up here. So this is still blocked because this would, this would go, well, can we get through here? No, not quite. That would go out the other side um, and back up towards our base, but it, it doesn't look like uh, we can get through there, but that's okay. The thing is, is we already got probably almost all, uh, you know what, what the hell, let's, Let's open this crate. We got so many crates to open. Hoo hoo, look at that. Oh, that's some good stuff. Okay, we're gonna grab the Oz. We're gonna grab the bioplastic nugget. And I'll come back down here and get the rest of this stuff later. Um Yeah, that's really good stuff. Or actually, you know what? Let's put the El Cheapo stuff in here and get the El Expensivo stuff out. Yeah, we're still not going to be able to get all of it, so let's grab this Tusca seed. We might as well drink a water. And, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Oh, this is actually more valuable than the Pestera seed. I'll still come back down and get the rest of that, though, too. All right, so... To get out of here, we're either going to have to go up that way and around, or I think this way might... Hey, look at our base up there. That's kind of cool. We'll leave that crate for later. Yeah, we'll have to go back up this way. You know what? When we were down here a couple of episodes back, I don't think I actually read the note on here. Let's do that. Private... Scavenger assignment reconnaissance. An abnormal number of ships from various companies have disappeared in the Azicial Prime sector. Go there and find out what you can do. Primary objective: investigate the sector. Discover why some ships seem to vanish. Secondary objectives: find and report presence of any hostile life. Identify any crashed ships and report them to their respective corporations. Record the whereabouts of all merchandise found. All right. So whoever was piloting this ship was apparently on some kind of scouting mission. Because there's been reports of ships mysteriously disappearing in and around this planet and sector. Hmm. I wonder if we set the... If we set the thingy down here, if it would get aluminum. All right. Anyway, we can scooch back up this way. Let's take this. Looks like one of our meteorites hit on the the ramp here. Um, all right. So we uh yeah, we're out of time. I think we're gonna wrap up the episode here and I am going to go around and pick up all the uranium. And after I'm finished doing that, we'll go ahead and start the next episode. And the first order of business is to put our, our bio lab uh, up and we're going to put it up here. We'll have to figure out a, a different place for everything else. Um, Actually, you know what? Hold on a sec. Maybe, how much power do we have? Yeah, we have enough power. Let's do the battle lab before I let you guys go. Let's just do it, man. 
All right, so we're going to pin that. We need two supers. Oh, I'm going to actually need to make a sulfur chest, but for now, let's just put the sulfur in here. I'll put the iridium in here. The fertilizer will go in miscellaneous, but it'll eventually need its own place. Put the Oz in there, those in there. Just put all that shit in there. I'll sort it out later. I don't want to do a bunch of inventory management on camera. Okay, grab two of those. Grab two more supers. And an aluminum. Alright, so here's my here's my plan. And I think we can make this work without having to remove the water collector. And maybe even without having to move that. So what we'll do is we'll put the bio lab there. Except for I think the dish is in the way. All right. We'll figure out where to put that later. All right, I don't know. Okay, that could work for us. We need a door. I'm just gonna put this on the corner and maybe we'll even just leave it there permanently. Titanium and a silicon for the door. Now, I also want to see, though, if we can do a ladder. What does that take? An iron and a cobalt. An iron and a cobalt. Okay, let's go back up this way first. Trying to decide where I want the door to go. Probably here. Because we typically scooch up this way. But my question is... We could, we could put a door out there, but I like... I actually like to use the space in here for storage. Can I put this? Yeah, that's just going to go up. So we have to do that from down below. All right, so it's going to be... It's going to be this compartment in this corner. Okay. So I think right here. Let's turn it this way. <laughs> Look at that. All right, nice. Oh. All right, that's that's jank. We have to move that over a little bit. But I love it cuz now we can get in here from the main, you know, the main building and we don't have to Go outside and hippity hop up under the roof to do that. Oh, nice. We got an algae generator. That means, you know what that means? That means there's water now. Probably f um, gathering in the lake. Okay, let's move this more like right here ish. Okay, we could also move it back that way a little more too. about as far back as it's going to let us go. That's good. Actually, that's really good. Okay. Nice. All right. Cool. 
Um, yeah, so what I like to do in here is I like to pretty much line the walls with storage for the different types of materials that we need to use in the bio lab. And what I did in season one is I also put like the DNA machines in here and, you know, some of that other stuff. So we'll kind of see how, how that all comes together. But uh, we should be able to make it work, and I think it'll be fun. We'll leave this door up here because if we're, if we need to go directly to the bio lab and we're just flying to the base, we can just scooch right in. Unless I feel like we need to remove that door to make room to put something there, but we'll we'll worry about that later. Amazing! This was a good episode. We accomplished a whole lot today, and uh, it's good stuff. So, um. In the next episode, where are we at? We're 10% of the way towards lakes. I'm just, oh, yeah, it looks like our, our debris has cleared so we can go pick up all our, our uranium. Um, I'm not sure what we'll do in the next episode. Maybe we'll do some exploring and, you know, just kind of give our machinery some time to build stuff up for us. And... I'd like to make another ore extractor in the next episode and take it over to the aluminum biome. So that'll be one thing on our list. But then maybe we'll do go do a little bit of exploring. We may, maybe we'll go to the crater, excuse me, and pick up a whole mess of iridium rods while we still can do that. So yeah, plan on, a, in general, an exploration episode in the next episode. With that being said, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I did. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and remind me that I'm supposed to be carrying a canister of oxygen at all times in my inventory. No exceptions. There. See ya.